On the eve to the 2020 December polls, the Electoral Commission will pull out a last card, unexpected to many political watchers in the country. The biggest culprit of that singular decision were residents of Santro Kofi, Akpafu, Lolobi and Lipe, known widely as Sal. They were denied the opportunity to elect a member of parliament for the area, which will be the first ever in the history of the country. Four years later, Sao is now the Guan constituency and political activism is growing in the area. Mike Osibo, the NPP candidate for the constituency, believes that Sao will reward the NPP for creating the new region. The people themselves are poised. I won't say everybody, 100%. Everybody is always reminding me that because you did this and that and that, you are the one who should represent us and you are going, we are voting for you, we are working for you. He is not alone. For voting, people are do, making sure that they will vote. We are coming in numbers to vote for uh, our flag bearer, Baumi uh, Alaji. For the opposition NDC though, there is only one way the electorate can vote, an emphatic victory for their candidate and John Mahama. Generally, if you are talking about the Guam constituency, we are hoping to give uh, President Mahama, out of giving him 95% of his winning in this hour, the Guam constituency. With the area predominantly NDC, Michael Sibo believes the governing New Patriotic Party is gaining ground despite the growing concern for development. We are not saying that we are the strongest here as a party, but we know what we are doing. We have a strategy to win one. That one, I cannot say it. But we have a strategy and we are working towards the goal. First time voters, meanwhile, are focused on development and employment opportunities as the constituency prepares for December 7. We want peace and we want like school and hospital. The way you see the road leading to Hohoe now, the road is not that good. You can vote for a good president, you can vote to work, make it and go to school. We vote it also. And I like. I don't think I will ever vote. The trajectory of this country does not give me confidence to vote. If only um, they allow we, the South constituency, to uh, engage in the uh, parliamentary um, uh, elections. To vote for a better person, a good person, someone who can rule Ghana to the best. The chance to elect an MP is high on the agenda of constituents. Nana Kekrebisi Obue Kuma II believes any elected MP must perform or will be booted out. I will discuss it and be frank with him that if he fails in his role, then he will be a one-term uh, parliamentary candidate. For the constituent, opinions are divided. <laughs> We are really uh, suffering, uh, uh, and we uh, want uh, the uh, next uh, government uh, to turn uh, things uh, around uh, for us. Whoever comes with a strong message, whoever comes with, uh, who can convince the citizens that, yes, vote for me, this what I can do, this what I'm capable of doing, fine, they'll vote for the person. We are looking forward to voting this year. It's all in God's hands. The December 7 general elections will hold significant importance for all stakeholders involved in various aspects. But for the people of Sal, now Guan, there is an added incentive to see December 7 come sooner. Mawina Egbeta, TV3 News, Guan Constituency, Oti Region.